Have you ever wondered how somebody becomes a storyteller? Well, today I'm going to tell you exactly how I became a storyteller. You see, I, my favorite president is Theodore Roosevelt. And I was going to do something in memory of my favorite president. I was going to shoot a bull all the way from Kansas to the White House. Land it right on the White House lawn. Now I had to start looking for the correct cannon to shoot a bull. And you know what? I could not find the correct cannon. They had nothing big enough. And so I had to go with a billy goat instead of a bull. Now once I got the billy goat, I trained it how to get inside of a straitjacket because I knew that I was going to need it inside of a straitjacket in order to shoot it straight. And I got that billy goat trained. Now I had to figure out how much dynamite it takes to shoot a billy goat all the way to the White House. And I devised a formula. It consisted of the weight of the billy goat times the distance divided by the, the, the horns times 1,356. I'm not exactly sure how I came up with that formula, but... I knew it must be right, and it came out that I was going to need 42 tons of dynamite. Now you might say, where does one come up with 42 tons of dynamite? Well, I had somebody that worked down at the lake at the dam, and he said, oh sure, I can order an extra 42 tons, nobody will notice. And so he did, and I got that for those 42 tons of dynamite. I loaded the cannon with him. I got that billy goat inside of its straight jacket. I loaded it right into the cannon with its horn sticking out. And I got a good half mile away, and then I lit the fuse. Half an hour later, there was an explosion that was heard all across the world, they say. And that billy goat was launched out of that cannon. And guess what? It landed right on the White House lawn. I had devised the correct amount of dynamite to launch that billy goat. But then there was the problem of the local law enforcement that came to my house when they realized that the explosion had come from my house. And they sentenced me to 4,000 hours of community service. No jail time, luckily. And guess what? I was assigned a parole officer. And that parole officer just happened to be married to the local play director and on the board of the Kansas Storytelling Festival. And so I did my 4,000 hours acting in plays and becoming a storyteller. Bully for you, Theodore Roosevelt.